Welcome to part 1 on how to make a vibe style edit on Premiere Pro just like this. This series is only for advanced editors, so if you're a beginner, this is not for you. It's probably best if you stick to the basics. The plugins you need are Sapphire for the transitions and effects, Twixter for the time remap, BCC also known as Forest Effects Continuum, which is optional. That's only if you plan on using BCC Lens Blur OBS over Sapphire Blur which in my opinion looks better. Magic Bullet for the color grading, but if you know how to color grade using Lumetri Color, feel free to use that instead. And Smoothify, which is a free extension. You don't need it, but I'm going to be making use of it to speed up the keyframing and graphing process. All right, let's begin by creating a new sequence. So head over to New, Sequence, Settings, Time Base, go for 23.976 and then change the frame size to 1080 by 1080. And what you want to do under video previews is change it to QuickTime, Codec, ProRes 422, check the maximum render quality box and give your sequence a name. So I'm just gonna put main and you want to click OK. Next, I'm going to import my clip. I'm only going to be using one for this example. So it's this one right here. Click keep existing settings and get rid of the audio. There are two parts to this clip. So first, second, so what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. So just around here and move that to the side for now. So the focus is going to be on this clip only. Let me just trim it at the start. So now that I've prepared my sequence, it's time to twixter. So you want to nest your clip. You can either go right click nest. I've already got a hot key assigned, so it's control N for me. And you want to open up that nested sequence. If for whatever reason you weren't listening to me, and your sequence settings are not 23.976, change it. Make sure it's 23.976, otherwise you're going to complain that your Twixter looks choppy, it looks stiff, and it's not as smooth as mine. Now I'm going to remove the duplicate frames. To briefly explain, it's every time there is a pause. So as you can see, I'm just scrubbing through the timeline. These two frames are the same, but the grass is moving, and I think the sky does as well. It is a little tricky to notice, but in short, you want to make sure that every frame has movement. I'm not talking about the background or the foreground, I'm talking about the character. So what I'm going to do is head to the start and scrub through my timeline. So that there was movement there, so what I'm going to do is just cut it down by one frame and push it back. So I can use this as a starting point. And what you want to do is find a pattern. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move one frame ahead each time. As you can see, there was movement there, so three frames ahead. One, two, three. Movement again, one, two, three, one, two, three. There is movement every three frames. For you, it might be every two frames. So what I'm gonna do is right click, head over to speed slash duration, and increase the speed by the pattern. So for me, it was every three frames. So you do 100 times three. If it was every two frames, you would do 100 times two. So obviously 100 times three is 300. And now, as you can see, every frame has movement. So what I need to do now is extend my clip. You can just create anything like an adjustment layer or black video. So just right click new item adjustment layer. Hit OK, place it next to your clip and just drag it out. Don't worry if it's too long. Basically, we're trying to extend the main layer here. So if it was too short, you can see part of it is missing and we can't extend it further. So this adjustment layer or black video helps us extend the main layer on our main sequence. So I'm just going to move this out the way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to go 30 frames for this clip, which is about a second. I'm going to add on Twixter. So head over to Effects, Twixter Pro, and copy my settings. So image prep, delinearize, warping, forward, down here, open up the main BG layer settings, and increase it to 100. I highly recommend saving this as a preset so it's easier to apply them onto our other clips. So you can right click, save preset, and just give it a name. So I'm just gonna put Vibe Twixter Settings and hit OK. We will come back to that later. But for now, what we're gonna do is change the time remap mode to frame number. This lets us be more precise with our keyframing. So your Twixter should look smoother compared to speed. You want to hit the stopwatch for the frame number at the start and head over to the last frame 
keep increasing this until it goes black. So you want the frame just before that. So 49, 48, that's the last frame I'm going to use. If you are experiencing any lag, change the playback resolution to half or one quarter, which is probably not a good option because you can't really see anything. So just go for half. Here's the plan. I'm going to make it speed up and then slow down and then speed up again at the end. So we could do this manually by opening up the graph, but that's going to take forever. So the better way to do this is by using this extension called Smoothify. The one I'm using is an older version. So if you do want to download this version, which is the one I'm using, it's linked in the description below. There will be the main one, so to the official website, and then the version that I am using just below it. Also, I do recommend you watch this overview just so you understand the basics. All right, let's apply a graph. So what you can do is just right click here and it's going to change the grid behind it. So if I just go back to the original and hold control on my keyboard, then just click and drag any of these handles. So this one here, you can see it's locking to each of these points and it works the same for the other grid. So right click and it's going to make them smaller. I can do the exact same thing and it works. So the graph that you want to make is this one here. Just hold control on your keyboard and drag it up. Same goes for this one, drag it down instead. It's two squares down from the top, so one, two, bottom right corner, and then two squares up for this one here, so one, two, top left corner. Save it as a preset, just hit the add button and give it a name. So I've named it Vibe Graph. Now to apply this graph, you want to head between your two keyframes. So move your playhead there and hit go. It's going to place the keyframes. You may experience some lag at the start, but here's how it looks. So it speeds up, slows down, and then speeds up again at the end. And I think that looks perfect. So what I'm gonna do is nest this clip. So mine is Control N, you can just right click, nest OK. I'm happy with the result, so I'm going to repeat this method with my second clip. So I'm going to nest it, open it up, and I might just trim off the end here. Then I'm going to find the pattern. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, that one was different. There was a two frame gap instead. So where was it? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. This clip has an irregular pattern. So I'm going to cut it manually. Now that all the cuts have been made, I'm going to control A, right click on one of them, head over to speed duration and decrease the duration. So I'm just going to drag it to the left. So now it says one frame. Check this box down here for the ripple edit, which shifts the clip to the left. So check that box and hit OK. So now each frame should hopefully have movement. Just double check to see if there are any duplicate frames. So right there, duplicate frames. Let me just get rid of that. Adjustment layer next to it, extend and then head back into the main sequence. I'm going to make it the exact same duration as my first clip. I can drag on the Twixter preset that I just made earlier. So drag that onto the clip. And what I'm going to do is keyframe the, not the speed, but the frame number. Zero at the start, head to the last frame. Keep increasing it until it goes black. So on the last frame, not 16, but 15 it is. I'm going to use this exact same graph. So let's take a look at the result. I think I could improve this. I'm not really feeling any impact. It slows down way too early on. And also there is a lot of warp on my Twixter. So I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, what I'm going to do is speed it up a little more at the start. Maybe, maybe something like this. Let's see how that looks. Much better than before. So I think this is the one I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do is nest this one as well. And this is the result, which I'm really happy with. So that's everything for the sequence, clips and Twixter. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to use Magic Bullet. But if you don't have it, you can just use Lumetri Color. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.